I, I love it. I think it's, I love it. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we're bringing you guys another cursed TikTok recipe. And what is it today, Carly? We're making a mac and cheese milkshake. That's right, a very disturbing combination of words. But we were oddly intrigued by this TikTok, by this account, Mac Cheesies. It turns out they're a restaurant and they only really released this as an April Fool's joke. However, we think there might be a kernel of truth to this savory sweet combo. So we decided to make our own version. We've previously tried the cheese foam tea on this channel and it was actually pretty good. So we thought they might be onto something here. So we've got the ingredients for ice cream and a box of mac and cheese. So I think we're ready to make every lactose intolerant person's nightmare, the mac and cheese milkshake. Dairy implosion, explosion. Erosion of the brain. Erosion. <laughs> of the inner, the, the GI. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was laying in bed. I saw this TikTok. It very much intrigued me. I thought it was real at first. I did not know what the date was. I've been gotten like that before, especially with like content things. On April 1st, like makeup companies will be like, oh, we're coming out with like a grass flavored eyeshadow palette. And right. I'm like, I need that. <laughs> but it's fake. Or the ranch eyeshadow palette. Like that was fake. Well, it gets a lot of chatter going. And you yeah. and I like trying weird stuff. So this was like way up our alley. I don't um, know what that says about our content brand. Uh, I think it says everything about our content <laughs> brand. All right. So first up, we're going to make our ice cream that will go into our milkshake. Carly, is this the same ice cream recipe as the Frank and Oreo? Yeah, it's the same, but it's half. So we're giving this thing a leg up though. That's pretty good. That was very good. Yeah, that was a pretty good ice cream recipe. All right, so we're gonna start with measuring out three quarters of a cup of whole milk. But that milk. That's milk. You get a load of that milk. Milk, 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 milk. All right, now we need a half cup of granulated sugar. <laughs> Oh my God, that just <laughs> happened. <laughs> I had coffee somewhere. You're like the Grandpa Simpson meme. You just walk in, take your hat off, put it on, put it back on, walk back out. <laughs> hey, we want to pass it this way. What? <laughs> okay, and then a pinch of kosher salt. Incoming. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this together with a hand mixer on low speed until it's fully combined. Yeah. All right, so here's a fun fact about ice cream because people have been trying to make weird ice cream forever, okay? In the 19th century, which is not forever, but in the 19th century, they used to make ice cream with like oysters, asparagus, rye bread, truffle, so. Cheese, relatively less weird. L less weird than those, yeah. What do you think, that's pretty combined, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Now we're gonna stir in one and a quarter cup of heavy cream. All it's right, uh, so. five, five fourths. Okay, right there. I think it literally says one and a quarter on there. Oh, it does? I got you the Pyrex that was the least washed off. <laughs> you We're can pushing these bad boys hard. We'll just end up with a bunch of blank measuring cups at some point. <laughs> we just measure with the heart. Heavy cream. It's heavy cream's over there. <laughs> Everyone just does spins when that? they don't know what to do. I saw a somewhat genius Halloween costume. Talk to me. This year, someone was a sky dancer. You like, you know thing? those things that were like the like dolls from the like late 90s that were like sticks with arms that had wings and they were on a platform and you'd pull a string and they'd oh. turn around. I saw a girl with like huge wings attached to her arms and she was just like spinning around. What about like super memorable childhood toys as like a costume? So like that would be one of them. That's pretty good. G.I. Joe, Operation, like those kinds of things as like a, a Halloween costume. Operation is a pretty good Halloween costume. You could figure it out. Board games, right? It's a little erotic though. It is a little erotic. Pinch me. Pinch my organs. <laughs> <laughs> That's erotic? <laughs> okay, cool. And then we're doing a half tablespoon of vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, so now that we have all that combined. Noise. We're gonna cover it and put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours so it can chill before we put it into our ice cream maker. Yeah. Ah. Uh, what a strange assortment of things we have in the fridge. <laughs> So it's a ton like of cheese in there. <laughs> an empty milkshake glass next to a bottle of sriracha. <laughs> it's very deranged. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna be making our deluxe Kraft mac and cheese. Yeah. To mix with our ice cream. Oh yeah. First, we're gonna boil two quarts of water. All right, show me the water. There's already water in there. Yeah, well, we're gonna turn it on. All right, so while we're waiting for our water to boil, here's some mac and cheese facts. Kraft mac and cheese is more popular in Canada than anywhere else in the world. And wow. is unofficially the national dish. That sounds like that's gonna get us in trouble. That sounds like fighting words. I don't, I, there's a, I can, I can hear Canadians. Type it. <laughs> what about table syrup? <laughs> it just feels like we're not gonna get away with that. Is it, yeah. Did Kraft just write this article? Kraft's like, how do we make ourselves Canada's national dish? All right, now that our water's boiling, we're gonna stir in our macaroni noodles and we're gonna cook it for 12 minutes. Yeah. Let's do this. Open it up. Oh! No courtesy bag. 
<laughs> that was a little. I always like human bags. Why did you open it that way? I don't know. When you were making the typing sound, I thought you were making like the little feet sounds of Canadians coming after you. These are these are Canadians riding moose south to the towards the border. <laughs> a low rumble. <laughs> That would be super terrifying. It's just like a, a cavalry, horde of Canadians. Cavalry of Canadians. The great horde of on, Canadians. On moose. <laughs> <laughs> moose are tall. Moose are dangerous. They're really dangerous, yeah. If there's one thing that my Instagram has taught me. Moose are dangerous. Moose are dangerous. I think I could take them. Mm. You think you could take a moose? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Who would win? It's one of those simulators. Who would win? <laughs> a horde of Canadians or a single Carly? I've seen like a thread like that before. It's like, would you rather fight like 10 tiny moose or like one giant squirrel? Or you know? the snail that follows you around until the end of eternity? A snail following you around for eternity is terrifying though. That's awful. I, I, I think a snail could probably murk you. All right, we still got a couple minutes here with the pasta. Okay, how would, if you <laughs> We're in the middle of an ocean. How is the snail gonna get to you? Go on the sea floor? Then I'm okay. gonna get up. You know, you'd get one of those things that like uh, George Clooney has in that movie Up in the Air where you're like super platinum flyer. You just fly across the country like every like, you know, three weeks. So your this solution snail to this is to become George Clooney? Your snail, <laughs> the snail follows you from the East Coast that to the West Coast. Then you just fly back. Oh yeah. Snail fall, well, then you just fly back. If death was on the menu, I think you'd become like a, a flight attendant. Right, you just keep, yeah, you just keep Where am I gonna go? Yeah, yeah, keep where am I gonna be around. next? Yeah, right? Okay, so it's been 12 minutes. We're ready to strain our mac and cheese. Let's do it. I think a snail could get on a plane. <laughs> that would be, that'd be really bad. Well, we have, that'd be bad if the snail was on the plane. Right, exactly. Get these motherfucking snails <laughs> on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> snail singular. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's good. These are good thoughts. These are good thoughts. These are good thoughts. <laughs> All right, so with our pasta finally cooked and strained, I'm going to spool out like a spoonful of raw noodles, which we're gonna use as garnishing on our milkshake later. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take our strained noodles and put them back into our pot. And I'm gonna add the Kraft cheese sauce. Yes. And I, I think that part of the fun about this one is that it's not powder. It's like actual sauce. It's sauce. Is that the right verbiage? Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. <laughs> it's a, oh! Oh, it's like neon orange. That'll be good because it'll be a good like um you know visual impact. We want the milkshake to be kind of orange, I think. Oh, we want the milkshake to be very orange. The the orange or the better. Okay. Let me stir that in. This smells incredible. So with our Kraft mac and cheese essentially made at this point, we need to cool it down. So we're gonna put it into this Pyrex container and then put this into the fridge. Cause we don't wanna have like hot mac and cheese with ice cream. Woo, woo. No, it'll melt. Melt everywhere. Cool. Oh yeah. And the clothes. Okay, so it's been about two hours and our ice cream base is ready to go into our ice cream maker. And the ice cream maker will take about 40 minutes to turn this mixture into a nice cold ice cream. Okay. There we go. And once the machine is done, we're gonna put our ice cream into a container. Here it comes. Oh. Risky transfer. Get it pushed through. It's real nice and thick. And then we're gonna stick it into the freezer to keep it cold. Boy, it does not know what's coming for it. All right, it's been a couple of hours, so our mac and cheese is chilled and our ice cream is ready to go. And we've got our milkshake maker here, so we're ready to make our mac and cheese milkshake. Yeah! Gird your loins, people. <laughs> gross. Oh! Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Looks good. I am resisting the urge just to just face plant. <laughs> <laughs> just consume. Just tie yourself? Yes. All right, so the mac and cheese is a little bit less face plant inducing. The thing about it is that cold mac and cheese smell, you know exactly how that tastes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's had like a mouthful of cold mac and cheese in their life. It's not the rewarding experience you think it's gonna be. But sometimes it's necessary. Cold mac and cheese is a 3 a.m. mouse moment where you're just yes, <laughs> rifling exactly through the fridge. Yes, exactly that. All right, so we're gonna start off by taking a couple of scoops of our ice cream and adding it to our milkshake cup. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like this milkshake machine like deserves a moment. It does. It's cool. It's got a little frothing head. It's giving me like soda shoppy vibes. It does, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Love that. Now we're gonna do a couple scoops of the mac and cheese into our milkshake cup. Yeah, we all know about that. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do another layer of ice cream and another layer of mac and cheese. Beautiful. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of milk and that'll be our milkshake. More dairy. More dairy. Dairy on dairy on dairy. Got layers dairy. on layers on layers. Layers on layers on layers. And now for the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to stick our cup on our milkshake machine and mix. Yeah. Let's do this. Are right, you ready? Yeah, go. Let her rip. And you can take it off the hooks, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Wow. Messy. This is one of the first times I've ever used this machine. And by one of, I mean the first. <laughs> Let's get all the way to the bottom here. 
Accidentally turned it up, but it seems like the right call. <laughs> All right, let me take a quick quality check here. Show, show me. I have a noodle stuck on the frother. Oh no. <laughs> Just punt that in. Okay. <laughs> it's got a twinge of cheese to it. Oh, it's kind of like um, vaguely beige. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can I sniff it? Yeah, go ahead. It smells good. I know. No, it smells great. And I think it looks pretty mixed. Still some pasta chunks, but nice and smooth. I think we're good. <laughs> Let, let's go for it. <laughs> the only thing that's a bit off-putting is like the splash of cheese over here. No, no one wants, let's not talk about that. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare our milkshake cup. We have one that has been sitting in the freezer for a bit, which we're gonna use, because, you know, cold cup, cold milkshake. That's what I hear. Let's do it. That's what they say. Nice and frosty. And in the original TikTok, they drizzle their milkshake cup with some caramel sauce. Ooh. And then they also add on some whipped cream to the outside. Um, nailing it. Um, amazing. Beautiful, show-stopping, innovative. Okay. Cool. And then they go in with some cheddar cheese around the top. We're going cursed margarita here. Cursed salted rim. I'm just gonna... For that last part. Okay, we have a cheesed rim. Wow. I feel like we're fighting time here, guys. Quickly. So yeah, we're gonna go in with the milkshake now. Milkshake going in before the whipped cream melts. Those noises that you hear, I can confirm. Or pasta. Let's whip cream the top. And put more cheese. And incoming. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. We want cheese on top. Cheese on top. More cheese on top. And now we are going to delicately place some of our plain pasta from earlier, which has now congealed into a single pulp. I need to place them, not drop them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like a, a couple more. And let's take our giant candy cane, paper straw. Let's stick it in and shrink it. Okay. April Fools or not? Am I the April Fool? Let's see. God damn, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I need, I need, I need. To, I need <laughs> no, I'm getting some chew now. I'm getting some chew. Maybe I just like milkshakes a lot, but that is so good. Stop. You gotta try this. <laughs> All of the whipped cream on top is just. <laughs> it just descended. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat all of it. Whipped cream and cheese, good. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's wonderful. That it, hold on, I gotta go back in for some more. It it mostly tastes like ice cream. So let's just be fair, it mostly tastes like ice cream. I taste vanilla ice cream, I taste caramel sauce, and that's mostly what I taste. Maybe a hint of cheese. Is it gone? Uh, it's gone now. Let me add some more of the, uh, <laughs> let me add some more of the milkshake on top. Oh, Second how milkshake. does that happen? I, I drank very vigorously. I'm trying to find the it was flaw. so short lived. I'm trying to find the flaw. <laughs> Here, put it, put, just put it there. Put it, put it there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna come in with a spoon to see how the pasta chunks taste. No, it's definitely good. It's definitely good. I kind of like the pasta in the milkshake. Me too, I like the cold noodle. It gives it some body, it gives it some texture. It's got sweet, it's got savory, it's got chunks. What's not to like? Okay. So Tyler, yeah, this thing started off as an April Fool's joke. Do you, do you think it's a a prank or a product? Ooh, <laughs> I think it's definitely a product. I think it tastes good. Mm. And this is not. I mean, obviously we did like craft deluxe mac and cheese, but I'm sure you could like actually have a very good custom mac and cheese that even work better with the dairy flavors. So I think it could be like a, the type of dish that really is a, a conversation starter. Mm -hmm. Kind of like something that's interesting to order and try. Yeah. So like if you're a restaurant that could do it, I think it'd be really fun. But I think that this, which is our sort of like jerry-rigged version is excellent. You are uh, really eating it so <laughs> fast. <laughs> like someone's coming to take it away from you. It's definitely a stomach ache in a cup. But it's also a mouthful of joy. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do, do you want a straw? <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> do you want the straw? Sorry, I really like this. <laughs> a man possessed. So Tyler really seems to love this thing. We do actually have a small bonus, which is there is actually a craft collab ice cream flavor. Right. That exists. We do. So we have this thing that we actually fully consumed that yes. we just made. And there's we some, also have- There's some pasta at the bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piece through it in a second. All right, I won't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get rid of it. All right, so this is the Van Leeuwen Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavored French Ice Cream. So let's see how Van Leeuwen does with their professional gourmet ice cream touch. Because the April Fool's joke, as Soft said, is a prank or is a product. They made it a product. <laughs> it's a product. It's a product. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. That is yellow. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. 
Ours is way better. Ours crushes that. Ours is way better, are you kidding? I'm gonna eat the rest of this, but. <laughs> in the beginning, it's a little sharp. Yeah. Then in the middle, it tastes kind of like caramely, actually. Mm. I taste the caramel mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it tastes like a craft single. It does. It's where it stays in the back of your mouth. Yeah, the, kind, the, the taste of a craft single that lingers in your mouth for a long time. That's what it tastes like at the end. Ours is better. Ours is, no. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I feel have, like, okay. Have yourself a, a cooked noodle. Yeah, ooh, I like that. All right, so Van Leeuwen, that's a no from us. Mac cheesies, you should make this a real thing. This was a successful experiment. So, with that, if you liked that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here are our various social media handles. This is our merch website. And with that, we'll see you guys next time.